Now, the other thing that, that you have to now look at is what is Baker Mayfield, you know, what, what effect uh, does it have on Baker Mayfield as he moves forward? My guess is he'll be motivated. Here's Kevin Stefanski on uh, Baker Mayfield and what moving forward with that Odell Beckham Jr. will do. Uh, all of us uh, have to move forward, and it's, you know, we have a challenge on Sunday right, right in front of us. So uh, Baker had a good week of practice, and I think he's ready to go. Yeah, I think we have to adjust. Uh, we have to adjust as always. Sometimes you adjust week to week. Sometimes you adjust day to day uh, in the middle of the second quarter, those type of things. So we just have to adjust. And, and Mac, I don't think it's going to be a huge adjustment for the offense. I really don't. Yeah, uh, I don't think so either, especially getting down in people's Jones back. You know, again, this is where you started to see the offense kind of hit its stride last year was all of a sudden once you have Donovan Peoples-Jones, that outside threat, you know, Jarvis Landry getting comfortable, getting back in there again, healthy. Uh, you know, I, I do think that, you know, the offense, it's not going to be a major adjustment. It'll be some, but, you know, I also do think that this might open up more for the tight ends. I mean, David Njoku, you know, he's shown the last couple of weeks, you know, what he can do with some of those targets. And, you know, he had the massive game against the Chargers earlier in the season. You know, I look at the way this offense has performed um, outside of Odell Beckham Jr., and I do think that there's room for them to grow. Now, I do think that there are certain players that need to step up uh, in that absence. I do look at somebody like an Austin Hooper who, you know, again, had a couple massive drops, had a, basically a walk-in touchdown this past Sunday and just ended up dropping that open pass for him. You know, I do think that there are certain players that need to step up uh, going forward at this point because that margin of error even though you know again Odell statistically the offense wasn't as good with him out there you know I do think that you know there is a margin of error that you need to uh, play with at this point and I do think that without Odell there are certain plays that you might not necessarily be getting I think that you look at this offense and you have them going forward I don't think the adjustment will be as much but I do think that they will need to be sharp uh, from top to bottom